now here with Max Struess after the Heat's 128-102 victory. Ten points for Max in this one, but six double-figure scorers. You guys seemed like a team that came out with a mission to start this game, a mentality of wanting to essentially take the life out of the Boston Celtics. How did you guys accomplish it, and how did you do it as a team effort? Our fans. Uh, our fans got us going early, um, and we came in with the mindset this is uh, you know, must win. Uh, we knew it was going to be a tough one. Um, we knew they were going to come out and try to throw the first punch, so we wanted to come out and do that ourselves. And uh, nothing better to do in front of our home fans and, and, and in our own gym. Well, there was a big lead after the first half, but in the third quarter, you guys really stepped it up to another level. Huge run at the beginning of the third quarter. Jimmy calling a timeout in front of Al Horford. Yeah, Gabe doing no, no look passes. You know, you guys are, seem to be having a lot of fun out there. What, what level of fun are you having at this moment as you guys take a 3 0 series lead? We're having fun, but we know the job's not done yet. Uh, we're still not satisfied. Uh, we won't be until this series is over. Um, and whatever that means, whatever it takes, we're going to keep doing that. Um, Gabe was huge in that third quarter, really uh, set the tone coming out of the locker room, and uh, we all followed suit. And um, We're just playing great basketball right now. It's fun to play good basketball, and it's fun to win. Yes, it is. And, you know, this team, I know you love to talk about the defensive end. This team loves to talk about the defensive end. Celtics were held to just 63 points through the first three quarters, 20% shooting from three. How have you guys been so effective in this series on the defensive end? I still think we could have done a better job. Uh, they got some open looks, um, and they're a dangerous team. They're good shooters. They got great players. Um, so we got to come out uh, next game and, and really set the tone again on the defensive end. That's what's been carrying us this whole playoffs, and um, that's where we get going. So uh, we got to keep doing that on the defensive end, and, and that'll keep carrying us. You know, you mentioned Gabe his 29 points. Duncan as well had 22 points. Mm -hmm. And I know you guys have been close over the years here in Miami. What does it say about him to be able to come out here in these playoff moments, you know, whether he's in the rotation, out of the rotation, back in the rotation, 22 points, 7 of 11 shooting? Yeah, when Duncan gets hot, Duncan gets hot. Uh, and we all do. Uh, we feed off of that. Uh, Duncan's one of the greatest shooters I've ever seen. Um, and he knows that too. Uh, when he gets it going, there's no stopping him. So um, we're going to need that uh, every, when we keep playing. Um, and, he, and he's built for that. You know, he's been through a lot of tough times um, these last couple of years. And uh, I've never been more happier for him to step up like this in a game like this. And uh, I know he's going to keep doing it for us. Last one for you. You guys always say the toughest one is the final one. Closing it out, you guys are up 3-0. So what are the emotions like and what's the mentality headed into game four? Yeah, we just got to keep doing what we're doing. Uh, we're playing, like I said, we're playing great basketball. We got to keep um, playing defense, um, holding our own on, on that end of the floor and uh, just keep being assertive. Uh, we're going to keep doing what we're doing. Nobody in our locker room is, is happy by any means. We enjoy the win, but uh, we know, like I said, we're not, we're not satisfied. We want, we want to get this done, and uh, then we can celebrate, and then it's back to business after that. But uh, we, we want to just take next game and, and just get after it. All right, they'll get after it in game four. Max Struess, 10 points in tonight's win for the Miami Heat. Back to you guys. Jeremy, thank you very much.